Matthew 24, verses 3 through 14 says this. As he, Jesus, sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us, when will these things be? And what will be the sign of your coming and the end of the age? Jesus answered them, See that no one leads you astray. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and they will lead many astray. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not alarmed, for this must take place. But the end is still not yet. For nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All these are but the beginning of birth pangs. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and put you to death and you will be hated by all nations for my namesake and then many will fall away and betray one another and hate one another and many false prophets will arise and lead many astray and because lawlessness will be increased the love of many will grow cold but the one who endures to the end will be saved and this gospel of the kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the whole world as a testimony to all nations and then the end will come a couple thoughts on this passage one you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake because you take the name of jesus and you hold fast to his word People are going to hate you because you're going to be opposed to what they believe. That's normal. That's going to happen, and it's happening right now. There are more people being killed because of Christ today than ever in history. There's persecution that you face here in the United States. It also says, many false prophets will arise and lead many astray. There is terrible teaching in a lot of churches today. You have the Catholic Church that you don't even need to accept Jesus to be saved. His blood is insufficient. There are people that teach that God is all about making you rich financially. That God is all about healing you for your perseverance and for your life. It's for his glory. And it's in Jesus' name for his credit. There are many led astray. There are many falling away from the faith. Many who are embarrassed by the church because the church doesn't embrace sin today. It's going to happen. Get used to it. Suck it up. I don't like it. But it's part of the deal as Christ's return comes closer. So be encouraged with it. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. Endure. Suck it up. Man up. Pull up your boots. It's going to get rough. Hold on to Jesus. Hold on to his word. Preach the truth in love, wrapped in gentleness. But don't you compromise the truth. You need to stand strong, even if it means loss of relationships, loss of a job, loss of friendship. Don't act foolishly, but engage this culture still. Don't hide, but give people an opportunity to come to Christ and be persecuted too. Have a great day.